you could eat a salad or a sandwich or a smoothie. Next thing you know, you'll be really feeling groovy. Ooh. I just want to pass a quick tip. So I have these bananas that I need to freeze. They are perfect for freezing for my smoothies. The browner the better because you know when they're brown, they're ripe, they're very sweet. So I'm going to go ahead and use these, the rest of my blueberries that I have left over, the leftover spinach and kale. So I'm going to take these two little Ziploc bags. I'm going to do two bananas in each, handful of berries in each, um, handful of kale and spinach. And I'll show you what I'm done. Okay, so here we go. I just peel all the bananas and I literally just take the stem. I just pull all of the kale straight off the stem. I don't want this in my smoothies. So I, here I go, I have two bags, bananas, spinach, and kale, and um, blueberries. And I just washed my kale spinach really good. And so I have two bags of these ready to go. So I'll put this in the freezer and freeze it. And so when I'm ready to make a smoothie, I'll just put this whole thing into my um, blender with some water, or sometimes I use coconut water, um, and I make me a smoothie. And if you want it extra icy, put some ice in there. If you have frozen, um, like I have bags of frozen fruit, like strawberries and blueberries and raspberries, you can throw any of that in. I just do this so that way I don't throw anything out. Like these leftover blueberries, I'm going to um, rinse these off and I'm going to eat those. And I have enough kale for one more little dish. Tomorrow I'll make me um, something and probably some vegan eggs and I'll chop up that, that kale really fine and I'll put that in my vegan eggs. Uh, so nothing goes to waste um so yeah i really like doing this it's really easy and you already have everything made for um a smoothie all right i just wanted to share that tip with y'all it really is super simple to make things that are good for you and not waste any food all right guys love you all bye